I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my forecast for you, Scorpio, for the week of September the 12th. Now, I have a new website. It's under the name of jenniferangel.com. So I just got the rights back to my name domain. So we've had a little bit of a makeover. Everything else has been redirected to it. So don't worry if you've got old links. But go in and uh, check it out. I hope you like it. And I'm clearing the schedule at the moment to do some private personal chart reading. So particularly as uh, uh, Jupiter has just moved into the next sign, the sign before you. So what I talk about here is the solar chart. So if you want to know how that's going to affect your personal natal chart, then go into the site and you can um, book through the personal reading session for 30 minutes or half hour or whatever. Okay. Now, um, so as Jupiter has moved to your solar 12th house and Venus is here as well, it's going to give you a chance to really clear up anything that's unfinished. Okay. And it gives you like Jupiter is the planet of opportunity. It's like a, the, a lucky planet and things from the past can come up now and uh, just help you delve in and more so on like a spiritual level as well where you can get some clarity about what your beliefs are, what your values are, how they fit into your life um, and once you start to do that more you start to attract people with the same values which of course means as we attract new things into our life then inevitably some of the old things go so in that sense it can be a little bit unsettling but it's very transformational so um, I hope that's going to be a great year coming up for you. Now we do have an eclipse uh, this uh, week as well, at the end of this week on Friday. It's a lunar eclipse, we're right in the middle of two eclipses at the moment, so it's pretty intense energy. Um, I'm certainly feeling it. So, uh, you know, leading up the lunar eclipse can be quite sudden and, uh, and very intense. And it's a full moon eclipse, which means the sun and the moon are right opposite each other. The sun is in your area of friendships and the moon where the eclipse is in is an area where you can take control, an area where love affairs um, come in to question as well. And it's a time where you can make some changes and some alterations. It's also a time of letting go to open up to, to new. So, um, don't be surprised if some people sort of start to exit your life over this period of time and all that's doing is it's making space in your life for something or someone new to come out. Now Mars, your co-ruler, still sits in your, in your solar second house of money and possessions. There are three aspects with Mars this week. Uh, two squares at the start and midweek, uh, one with the uh, uh, sun, another one with um, um, Mercury, so, and this is around friends, so you've got, this has been going on for some time, a situation around friends and money, so you want to sort of keep it uh, on a assertive, diplomatic sort of level if you can, so it doesn't get out of control, because Mercury is retrograde, so, you know, all sorts of... Uh, Frustrations and miscommunications can happen under a Mercury retrograde period, so you want to be a little careful of that. Um, but all in all, it, as I said, it's an intense time, but it's a time of opportunity and change too, which means it's a time of moving forward. So in that sense, it's it's very good. All right. Okay. So have a great week. I do hope something fabulous comes up for you and uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.